Welcome to the video today. My name is Sherry White from Fountain of Life Ministries International, and we welcome you today. Uh, and this message today, I pray that we'll, it will go down deep into your hearts and take root and produce fruit uh, in your life and produce fruit in the kingdom of God. And I want to talk about casting our nets today. Casting our nets and bringing people into the kingdom of God. Not into our thing, not into our uh, churches, not into our organization, but into the kingdom of God. In Matthew 13, starting in verse 30, uh, 47, it says that the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was let down into the lake. And you see this beautiful lake uh, behind me today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, God made this day just for us, and, and we're going to be uh, glad and rejoice in it. And he says that his kingdom is like a net that is put down into the lake and, and catches all kinds of fish. And we know that we are fishers of men. That's what he told uh, Peter and the rest of the disciples. He said, no longer shall you catch uh, natural fish, but you shall be followers of me. This is Jesus talking. And he says, and you shall be fishers of men. Uh, you know, the Lord gave me uh, uh, just a short uh, chorus uh, many years ago, over 20 years ago. And it goes like this. Come follow me, follow me, follow me. Come follow me, saith the Lord. Come follow me, follow me, follow me. Come follow me, saith the Lord. And I will make you fishers of men. You know, and that, that has just stuck in my heart. That we are to be fishers of men. That we are to put out the right kind of bait. And we are to uh, draw them in uh, with the love of God that's in our hearts. And uh, the words on our mouth. The actions that we take. Uh, the behavior that we display, that we are to bring them into the kingdom of heaven. When it was full, the fishermen pulled it up onto the shore. Then they sat down and collected the good fish in baskets. This is how it will be at the end of the age. This is how it will be in the end days. And we are in the end days. That the fish will come and get into the net and we will bring them on shore for the Lord. Can you say amen? I get excited. You know, in 2 Timothy, uh, I believe it's chapter 4, verse 5, it says, do the work of an evangelist. If you want to know what your calling is, if you want to know what your purpose is, part of that purpose is to bring people into the kingdom of God and to do the work of an evangelist. That's where it starts. Do you have a love for people? Do you have a love for the body of Christ? Uh, do you have uh, a, just a uh, an unction on the inside of you uh, that says, I want to see people uh, come into the kingdom of God, to love God, to know God, and to be part of what He's doing? You know, do you have that kind of uh, love in your heart today? In John 20, 21, Jesus has just been resurrected from the dead. And his disciples decided to go back doing what they had always done, and that was to fish. And so Jesus stands on the shore, and he looks out across the lake, and he sees his disciples out there fishing. And he hollers at them, Hey, fellas, do you have any, any meat? Do you have any fish? And they say to him, we have toiled all night. We have toiled all night. And we have not caught anything. Let's put our eyes on that scripture, if you will. John 21. Praise the name of Jesus. He says here, friends, do you have any fish? And they say, no. They say, we have thrown, uh, we have toiled all night, and we haven't caught anything. 
And Jesus says to them in verse 6, Throw your net on the right side of the boat, and you will find some. And when they did, did they caught a multitude of fish. And the fish hit the net. And that's what Jesus is saying for us to do. He is saying, I want you to compel them to jump into the net, to come into the kingdom of God, to be born again, to be part of the family of God. That is what he is wanting for us today. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? You know, you don't have to be concerned about how many times you preach. You don't have to be concerned about how many people uh, that have come into the healing lines. You don't have to be concerned about anything except compelling people to come into the kingdom of God. In Luke chapter 14, there was a, a, a big feast that was prepared. And lots of invitations went out to people. And no one came. And what Jesus said was, go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come into my house. Compel them to come into the kingdom of God. You know, every time I quote that scripture or every time I read that scripture, there's something on the inside of me. My spirit leaps on the inside of me because I know, I know that's what he wants. He wants his house to be full. He wants his family all together. If you're not in his family today, you can certainly be in his family. All you have to do is call upon the name of Jesus and you shall be saved. That's so simple to do that. If you're already in his family, then you need to be fishing today. You need to be out on the lake casting your net so that the fish will jump in. You know, the bait is the Word of God. The bait is putting the words out there and compelling them. You know, there's a word for every person that will catch hold of their heart and they will say, yes, I need Jesus today. You know, we don't lead people to the Lord with pressure or with fear, but we lead them with the love of God. Compel them to come into the kingdom and cast your net on the right side today. Thank you so much for viewing. God bless you.